kung madalas sabihin ng aeronautical students na ah, magpipilota to. And yung computer science students as tagabantay daw ng computer shop, well, kami, madalas din masabihan ng electronics engineering students ng pakiayos nga ng TV namin, o kaya pakiayos nga ng radio namin, or pakiayos ng electric fan. De joke lang. Anyway, I hope this video uh, changed your impression about electronics engineering. Hi, this is Rodney from Man Academy and I'm studying Electronics Engineering at UP Diliman. In this video, we will talk not only about what is Electronics Engineering. Pag-uusapan din natin ang mga bagay na need nyo i-consider before deciding to take this degree program. Pati na rin ang pros and cons about it as well as the classic expectations versus reality with regards to Electronics Engineering. So let's dive in. Now, a little bit of history muna and note that this is specific sa UP Electrical and Electronics Engineering Institute. But knowing about this will give you an idea on how electronics engineering and electrical engineering are closely related to each other. Okay, electronics engineering or ECE is formerly known as electronics and communications engineering. Binago lang yung pangalan few years ago pero na-retain yung ECE na acronym. Now, prior to that, or bago nagkaroon ng BSECE sa UP Diliman, ang meron lang noon is Electrical Engineering. Now, yung mga students na interested sa electronics, pati na rin sa communications, ang ginagawa nila is nagtitake sila ng uh, elective subjects about doon. Bale, Electrical Engineering pa rin, but with spe specialization in electronics and communications. That is why, uh, up until now, Electrical Engineering and Electronics Engineering shares a significant number of foundational courses and actually based on my research in most universities sa US, uh, walang ino-offer na Electronics Engineering or hindi siya common. Ang meron is Electrical Engineering and siguro nakakaiba-iba lang sila based sa uh, kung ano yung major or uh, specialization na pipiliin ng student kasi ang Electrical Engineering is a very very wide discipline. Pero dito sa Pilipinas, most of electrical engineering degree programs focuses uh, heavily on machine and power systems. Okay, now as technology continue to improve, dumami yung applications. Lumawak at lumalim pang innovation sa electronics and communications field. Uh, that was the time we're in. Okay, kailangan na ng separate track for this. Kung baga, there is so much information, so much to study about it, to just be a specialization in electrical engineering degree program. At dun na nga, nagkaroon ng electronics and communications engineering degree program sa UP Diliman, which offers a uh, whole lot more at mas focus na sa ECE field. Now, an electronics engineering degree program trains students to be adept in designing electronic circuits. Uh, common and uncommon devices, integrated circuits and their systems, and then mobile phones, and pati na rin yung telecommunication technologies. Kung may nasasagap kang wifi ngayon, nakaka-receive at nakakapag-send ka ng SMS, nasisin ang message mo ng crush mo, nasisin mo ang message ng may crush sa'yo, uy, para mas masaya yan, no? Uh, nakapanood ng YouTube, television, or kahit anong context man yan, basta mabilis mong nare-receive ang information from a different place Kahit gaano ka kalayo, basta may signal, malaki ang ambag dyan ng electronics engineers. Hindi lang yun. Pati computer hardwares na di natin nakikita sa background, yung motherboard ng computers, and I'm not only pertaining sa computers na, na madalas natin nakikita. Yung hardware part ng mobile phones and other uh, electronic devices na ginagamit sa iba't ibang industry, gaya ng devices and laboratory equipment sa medical field, car companies, robotics companies, and even in security and, and defense industry, etc. Now, I'm not saying na after having an ECE degree, uh, magiging expert ka sa lahat ng mga nabanggit kong application ng ECE. Kasi napakalawak ng field na to and napakalalim din ng bawat application niya. But having an electronics engineering background will give you fundamental knowledge on how to deal with these applications. Using your knowledge in physics, mathematics, circuit theory, and other engineering principles, and then, depende na sa'yo kung saan mo gustong mag-focus. At idagdag ko na rin, hindi lang naman electronics engineers ang gumagawa ng mga yon yung mga nabanggit ko. Kasi most of the time, uh, electronics engineers work with other types of engineers, such as electrical engineers, computer engineers, even software engineers, yung mechanical engineers, aeronautical engineers, uh, etc. Depende sa kung anong technology yung dinidevelop at sa kung anong company ka napunta. Now, Bakit ko nga ba kinuha ang degree program na to? Kasi it's important to know the why or the reason behind everything that you do. It helps when, you know, things get tough. Okay. 
Now, when I decided to take this degree program, hindi ko masyadong inisip yung about sa salary dito sa Pilipinas. Which I kinda regret to be honest. I was more focused on what I really want to do, no matter what. Now, if ever man na makarelate ka sa reason ko, kahit konte or mafeel mo na we share a significant amount of uh, curiosity after listening to my reason, then maybe you should consider taking electronics engineering. Okay, it all started when I first played a remote-controlled car. Pero hindi sa akin yun, ha, kasi pricey siya for a toy. Anyway, alam nyo naman yun, di ba? Yung kotse na may antena, tapos may remote controller ka, tapos magkocontrol mo within a limited distance yung car. Ayun, sobrang na-amaze ako dun. Nasa isip ko nun, paano mo napapagalaw yung isang bagay nang hindi mo naman hinahawakan? Feel ko may superpower so kapag hawak ko yung remote control na yun. So, simula nun, mas naging curious ako about technology itself. Gusto kong malaman kung paano, paano nag-work ang remote controllers. Pa, 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 paano nag-communicate ang uh, dalawang bagay remotely. Nung nauso ang internet, pati ang call at text sa cellphone. Ayun, another something to ponder about. Like, pa, paano mo naririnig ang boses ng isang tao na nasa malayong lugar? Amazing yun para sa akin. I tried searching about it, uh, about them, pero mahirap siyang intindihin. Ang daming jargon words at parang walang maayos na pat on how to study or learn those things. Then around grade 9, uh, I heard about electronics and communications engineering. I started researching about it and decided na ito yung gusto kong kunin kasi I believe that uh, taking ECE will not only help me to answer those questions na na-mention ko, it will also give me an opportunity to, ban- to be one of the uh, front- frontliners in innovation. Wow, <laughs> big word. Now, let's say na you are already hooked and mataas na ang interest mo sa degree program na to. Not so fast, amigo. Let's have some expectations versus reality discussion. Okay, uh, my first expectation versus reality re- realization is that uh, I thought magiging simple lang siya. You know, just connecting and merging things. Yung meron kang piyesa and then bubuuhin mo together with other parts and agad-agad, agad-agad mo may kita yung result. Kumbaga, I imagined it in a very high-level way. Parang Lego. Well, in reality, sobrang lalim na lalim pa, sobrang lalim pa ng pag-uusapan nyo. Magsisimula sa kind of middle level, uh, most of curriculums will start uh, dealing with circuit theory. you learn how to deal with circuits involving resistors, then eventually papasok sa eksena ang capacitors, inductors, and then you learn about diodes, transistors such as BGT and MOSFET. Basically, matututo ka kung paano kontrolin ang flow ng current sa circuit uh, to create your desired signal uh, as well as the functionality. And then you learn how to analyze simple to complicated analog and digital signals and then design communication systems. Not only that, you'll also have a deeper understanding on how on the interactions of electrons. Example, kung paano nagkakaroon ng current, you learn about electric fields and magne- magnetic fields hanggang sa kinukumpute mo na kung ilang force ang uh, nakukontribute ng charge sa certain point or conductor or a geometric shape. And then, uh, you'll also learn about conversion between mechanical and electrical energy, vice versa. Matututunan mo rin kung paano nagagamit ang transistors to, to create an electrically controlled switches that will eventually lead to a more sophisticated applications of those switches like logic gates. And then, those logic gates will lead to the development of basic computers. Pero sobrang mas marami pang pagdadaanan, mas komplikado pa siya. You will learn about a lot of important equations such as Maxwell equations and tons of mathematical tools that will help you in analyzing and making inference about those things that I mentioned at napakarami pang iba to the point na minsan may isip mo kung may sense pa ba or magagamit mo ba yung inaaral mong yun sa industry. Ayun, ganun kalalim. So you really have, uh, you really should be ready for that. Kasi yung buong cake talaga yung ihain sa'yo, hindi lang yung certain part ng cake or yung tasty part lang. At kadalasan, yung tasty and enjoyable parts is nasa higher years na, in my opinion. Yun yung time na gagawa ka na ng projects wherein makikita mo yung practical applications ng mga inaral mo. Pero depende pa rin yan sa pagkakadesign ng curriculum. So, iba-iba sa kada school. Pero since iisa lang naman ang, it- ang tinitake na licensure exam ng mga soon-to-be uh, licensed electronics engineers dito sa Pilipinas, hindi na rin naman siguro sobrang nakakaiba-iba ang curriculum ng bawat university or college. Kasi may certain standards pa rin. Yan, may certain standards pa rin yan na sinusunod or at least I hope so. Another expectation versus reality realization. Um, akala ko laging masaya lang yung uh, during laboratories. Indeed, masaya yung laboratory guys. 
too bad online class ngayon at puro computer simulations lang. Pero after ng laboratory, yun yung uh, less fun part or depende sa'yo actually. Kasi saan damakmak na lab reports yung papagawa sa inyo and then darating yung point na yung data na nakuha mo sa lab, hindi siya nagsisink sa gusto mong i-explain sa lab report mo. Kaya you'll, you will have to spend some time to redo the experiment uh, at malaman kung alin ba yung mali, yung method mo ba, or talagang sadyang ganun talaga. So yun, may mga times na mababurn out ka, pero laban lang kasi malaking tulong yung lab reports para masulidify pa yung understanding mo sa topics. Actually, uh, I asked one of my friends na nagte-take din ng ECE. Uh, shout out to Didi. And then ang expectation versus uh, expectation versus reality realization niya naman is sabi niya, kala ko, uh, sabi niya, uh, kala ko bubuo talaga ng mga circuit board for larger applications like electric cars, etc. Though that is true, which is actually true naman, uh, it is a mere understatement. Which is totoo. Kasi nga, again, whole cake talaga. Hindi lang yung juicy stuffs or kung ano yung narinig, uh, narinig mo sa hype about this degree. Kung meron mang hype pa. Uh, pero feeling ko wala namang hype about uh, BSEE. Lol. Now, as for the job demand, well, na-mention ko na, na kanina kung saan madalas merong application or need ng electronics engineer. So, maraming pwede pagpilian. You can work in telecom companies, robotic companies, car companies, government, uh, technology companies like Microsoft kung sobrang galing-galing mo or, you know, sobrang, you know, you work hard. And then, companies related to electricity, production, and management, at marami pang iba. Uh, you can even work as a software engineer kahit easy yung background mo. Okay, great. Uh, pero you might ask na, in demand ba ngayon ang electronics engineering jobs? Well, I cannot provide a reliable data with regards to that question right now, so take my words with a grain of salt. Now, I think it is not in demand in the Philippines, at least right now. And with regards to salary, hindi rin ganun kataas. <laughs> hindi rin siya mababa, pero hindi ganun kataas. Actually, even before pandemic, uh, we're, in act- we're in active ang economy, hindi ganun, ang, hindi ganun kataas ang demands for electronics engineering jobs. Compare sa other jobs like software engineering and other IT related jobs and maybe one of the reasons is konti lang ang mga company dito sa Pilipinas na willing mag-spend ng money for R&D or research and development. Kasi nga, mahal siya. You will need a lot of equipments, a lot of money. Kahit pa sabihin natin, hindi kulang sa talent. Hindi talaga ng malaking pera to, you know, create our very own self-driving cars gaya ng sa Tesla or supercomputers gaya ng nasa Google, etc. There's a lot of reasons actually in I'll be off the topic pag diniscuss ko pa yun. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll make a separate video with regards to this soon. Okay, the demand for electronics engineers right now might not be that high, but this doesn't mean na uh, it will be obsolete soon. No, absolutely not. Hindi mawawala yan. There will be always uh, demand for these types of engineers, lalo na marami ng businesses, even the small ones, ang mas nagiging tech savvy. Tinatry na nilang maging digital and they are now more open on using technology to improve their products and services. Which will give rise to the demand for engineers, including the electronics engineers, that will make it possible and effective as much as possible. Anyway guys, if you managed to reach this uh, ending part of this video, gusto kong, mags- uh, gusto kong sabihin na maraming salamat. Uh, actually, sa lahat ng ginawa kong videos, ito yung pinaka nagustuhan ko. Although mahirap siya kasi I did a lot of research, uh, masaya masaya sa feeling na you know, ma-share ko yung passion ko, yung yung ginagawa ko din and then makatulong na din sa uh, nasa currently nasa decision decision part kung ano yung career path na gusto nilang i-take yung mga upcoming college students. So good luck sana magustuhan niyo kung ano man yung mapili niyong career. Hello again guys! Siguro itatry namin gumawa ng mga videos na ganito. Yung mga face reveal something every once in a while. Face reveal. <laughs> anyway, kung may gusto kayong course na gawan namin ng ganito, baka may ina-wonder sa inyo kung ano meron sa BS Biology, Community Nutrition, Forestry, Psychology, Computer Sciences, and ibang engineering. And kung ano pa man, uh, itatry namin mag-reach out sa circle of friends namin para makapagbigay ng information then about sa courses na pinagbibigay. So, pwede nyo kami message sa Facebook page namin or sa email. So, ilalagay namin siya sa video description. So, yung mga, uh, pwede nyo yung comment na lang. And, yun. So, tingnan namin kung magagawa namin ng parang with our network. Once, once again, this is One Academy. Once again, this is One Academy. See you. Once again, this is One Academy. 
See you in our future videos. <laughs> so bye bye, bye bye guys.